the question. You, you took the words out of my mouth. What is going on? Is Claudia the woman you love? Is she your wife? No, Claudia is not my wife. <laughs> Imagine being in a radio conversation or listening to a radio conversation of your husband saying that he wants to get flowers for another woman that is not you. You're in a radio, com you're in a radio or you were called in the radio, da, 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 and they were like, I think you told them that you think your husband had a side chick and they were like, okay, let us prank him or something. I'll call him for something and they called him like, we want to send flowers to somebody for free. Just call a name and tell us what to write and we'll send flowers to the person. And you listen to the conversation like all the time you're listening to the conversation. And he mentioned another woman's name that is not you. And he was like sending love. Like what he was writing was love about love and all of that. How would you feel? <laughs> Let's go ahead and listen to the conversations together. Mm-hmm. And I'm about to show my thoughts at the end of the video. Wait and please do not like my video until at least 11 or 12 seconds in. Thank you. This morning, 102.7 KISS FM. Let's get Your Maya and Sherman coffee. Oaks. Maya. If you come for Ryan's Roses, this is the moment. Maya Sherman Oaks says, On Sunday, my husband took a call on his phone and didn't realize it was still hooked up to a Bluetooth speaker in the backyard. What did you hear, Maya? And why are you here? Oh my God, thank you. So we had this thing with some other families in our backyard on Sunday. It was nice and uh, my husband was playing music on a Bluetooth speaker connected to his phone. So we were cleaning up and he went inside for whatever reason. His phone rang on the speaker and then he apparently answered because we heard a woman's voice. So we couldn't hear him, we could only hear her voice. And she said, hey baby, I was hoping to hear from you. Uh. And I guess, she couldn't hear him respond because she was all like, hello, in a super flirty voice. Mm, so maybe he hung up or whatever and music came back on. And the other moms looked at me with so much pity in their eyes because they knew exactly yeah, what Yeah, it's embarrassing. Yeah, oh my God, super embarrassing. Did you call him out? So I mean, did he, you recognize the yeah. voice? No, no, I didn't. And he came back and like acted like everything was fine when everyone left. And I asked him who called and he was like, Oh, it was a wrong number. So, mm. you know, that I checked his phone, and whoever called at 715, he deleted the call from his log. Okay, uh, okay. Well, that, well, that's really yeah. suspect. Shady, you shady. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You shady. Okay, hold on one second. So, Hello. 30 voice on Hello. speaker. In call. Okay, Ryan, you have my permission to call mm. on KISS FM. Sounds like we are going to call him now. Here we go. Good luck. James. Thanks. Jared. Hello. Hi, is this Brian? This is Brian. Hi, my name is Jen. I'm calling from Valley Flowers. How are you doing this morning? I'm good. How great. are you doing? I'm great. Thank you for asking. We're actually a flower shop on Ventura near the pavilions in Sherman Oaks. And today we're offering local residents a promotion, a free dozen red roses that you can send to anybody that you'd like. Uh, Is that something you'd be interested in? Man, I'm, getting, I'm getting a lot of spam calls. This Honestly, is this, is not, this, is not, this is not going to cost you anything. They're absolutely free. Uh, we would just uh -huh. need the name of the person you want to send them to and a note. They can get them by lunchtime today or a different day if that's more convenient for you. Just trying to promote our business. Wait, I'm sorry. What's the offer now? A free dozen red roses. I don't need cash. I don't need credit card info from you. I don't need anything Swipe like that. We're just trying app. to promote our business. Like I said, we're right here in the valley. Free flowers, no catch. No catch. We can start with the name of the person you want to send them to. Um, all right. Fine. I can do some flowers. Um, uh, her name is uh, Claudia. Oh! Okay. Yeah. Okay. And what would you like to put on the card? Um, <laughs> if you could just put LOL as in lots of love and then love Brian. Sure. Brian, your voice is being broadcast on the radio. My name is Ryan. I've got Sisney and Tanya with me. Is Claudia your wife? Uh -huh. Wait, you saying, what, I'm on the radio now? Yes, sir. Is Claudia, your, is Claudia your wife? 
No. What, what's going on? I'm not sure well, what's that's, going on. That's the question. You, you took the words out of my mouth. What is going on? Is Claudia the woman you love? Is she your wife? No, Claudia is not my wife. Who is Claudia? Who is Claudia? Who's Claudia? Who's this? That's listening. I'm Ryan. Hi. There's Tanya. Who's Claudia? Uh. Come on. My, are you there? Oh, I'm here. Who's Claudia? What's going on? No, you, you answer the know, question. What, what's going on? Who's Claudia? Oh, You're asking all on, the I questions know. that are on our who mind. Who Claudia is? Who I is it? And what's going on, Brian? Right? You're asking the question. here right now. Um, that's you're right. Blindsided. That's right. Are you going to pretend you don't know who Claudia is, Maya? I don't know who Come she on. is. Okay, right. Um, well, did you tell them on the radio about our agreement? Oh my God, I never agreed to that. Look, babe, what are um, you guys talking about, please? What are you talking about? Your agreement, Brian? You may be regretting it now, my dear, but you did agree to it. Um, you know you agreed to it. What is it? What's he talking about, Maya? Uh, a while back, he asked me for an open relationship. And okay. you agreed to it. I did not. Come on, Maya, you did agree to it. I agreed to spare you the details, and you agreed to look the other way. That's, we what? talked about it. That's not how I remember it. Come on. But did you have this conversation at all, Maya? We did. I just... And I, did I you... What, what, how do you see it? How do you, you remember say? it? I didn't really think it was going to be something. I didn't think it'd be something that would be in any way in my radar my orbit and i mean he's going to send flowers to somebody well That's he's also saying love well, he's saying lots of love 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 i'm sure love, love was in part of this conversation love, yeah. but listen this is a slippery mm -hmm. slope you open the door if you have this conversation open the door then these are the things that can happen yeah so i don't and that that and that's what happened i mean well, right, but Brian, you developed, a, you developed feelings and love for this other woman, Claudia. Clearly, you just sent the roses, so we got that checkbox. Maya, you opened the door, it sounds like, with the conversation mm. to engage in an open relationship. Is that true or is that not true? That's just not how I remember it, but I mean... How do you not that's remember the problem that once you open this door. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I just don't want this agreement anymore. Well, then that's I mean, how the conversation you need to have on. with your husband. What's going on, Brian? You think you know what's going on? What's going on? Um, we did have this agreement, but something happened over the weekend, and some of our friends, your friends, kind of got wind of what was going on with our agreement, and now I think you're embarrassed and having second thoughts, which is totally understandable. I get that. I totally get that. I knew this wasn't going to be an easy thing, but that doesn't change the fact that we agreed to it. All right, so Brian and Maya, this is a conversation for the two of you directly. Yeah, exactly. This is a an area you guys sound like. What do like you guys think? Could you guys do an open marriage? I could not do an open marriage. I no, that is not for me. But um, I think he's. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I I mean, if he's the one that arranged it, and she's okay with it. Then why is she tripping? Like, how do you not have? How do you have a conversation like that? So devastating to a marriage like an open relationship and you agree to it and you're just like yeah i just don't want to know about it like then you come around and be like oh what was me no you open that door sweetheart what is your take on open relationship open marriage open relation no, open marriage right what is your take on open marriage can you do open marriage can you not is he wise for a woman to do open marriage i know it's wise for men i know even men are even they are even open even without the marriage being open men are already opened it already but agreeing who benefits more from open marriage is it the man or the woman like what is your take on open marriage let me know that in the comment section let's have a conversation on open marriages in the comment section respectfully would you do open marriage for me i don't i don't i don't think i like i don't think i would like open marriage <clears throat> I don't see marriage as marriage supposed to be an open thing. I think marriage is supposed to be a commitment, right? It's supposed to be you and I alone. So 
if we're already opening it i don't think it's marriage anymore i feel like we are actually doing a business transaction which we know marriage is can be can be business transaction for some people but then i feel like it's no longer going to be called marriage in my own opinion i feel like we're already done with each other why can't we just end the relationship instead of opening it up so um, I am free to go out there to do what I want to do. You're free to do whatever you want to do. They will come back and be in the same house. Like, what is the purpose of me coming back to still be with you again? It's like we're roommates or we're flatmates. Like, I don't see the benefits of, of us bringing in someone else into the relationship while we're seeing the relationship. I cannot do it. And it's fine if you can. But I'm just like speaking in my own opinion, in my own for me, for Maria, I can't do it. Like I, for now, I don't see reason why I should do it. <clears throat> so when I say people like agreeing to open marriage, when I read ready stories of open marriages, I'm like, okay. And most of the time, the women are always coming out to cry more. <laughs> most of the time, it doesn't have it doesn't benefit women <clears throat> more. It benefits the men more. And the women get hurt the most when it comes to open marriages, right? And that's exactly what's happening. I feel like she had a conversation, but now she's acting like she cannot remember. There's not how you cannot remember a very important conversation when it comes to open marriage with your partner. So I feel like she's adding so many things. And I feel like they had a conversation. She agreed to it, but she didn't expect it to be that way. Or as exactly how the husband said, probably she's feeling embarrassed now that her friends or family members are aware after the whole party and they heard Somebody were like, hey, baby. Hey. So I feel like she's been embarrassed and she's like, oh, I wish I'd never agreed to this open marriage thing. Most of the time, yeah. Or sometimes I see that it can even be a woman that initiates in the conversation and be like, let us start open marriages. I read those stories on Reddit. And when she initiates those conversations and the man agrees to it and starts saying, colleagues or co-worker or anybody is saying the women start getting jealous and they're like uh uh you're saying hard so much like i feel like to me i feel like if you you are done with marriage if you're done with your partner because for you to decide to open a marriage is because you don't you're not both of you are not feeling each other anymore you're not feeling each other probably you don't like each other or you, you can't stand each other and you want someone else to spice things up i don't know anything i don't know why they do it right i just feel for me i feel like probably they're not feeling each other anymore why can't you just either work things out or just end it and go do your thing maybe eventually <laughs> you guys might come back later on in the future but being in a relationship and you know, I don't know. but as i said earlier some men are already open marriage even without you having conversations with them when i mean they've opened the marriage is some men are cheating with their full chest like the wives are aware that my man is cheating on me the wives are, the wives if you see some women say oh men cheats oh men cheats like oh if my husband is cheating there's nothing i can talk about it i even know his girlfriend i know where his girlfriend lives i know where he's ah that girl is my husband's girlfriend they know right they are aware so to me i feel like men have opened some men have opened the marriages even without having conversations about opening of marriage what do you think the women should do at that kind of at that stage <laughs> because <laughs> they didn't have conversation with you in opening the marriage they just opened it <laughs> it's different from having conversation of open marriage what did you take on open marriage no offense to people that open their marriage it's just me that i don't i don't think i can do it but then let me know your thoughts down in the comment section about open marriages. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section respectfully. It's your favorite girl again, Maria Davis. And don't forget to like and share and subscribe. And please turn on the post notification bell to get notified as soon as I upload another interesting video. Shop, 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 shop. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.